Hello, we just finished meeting on Tuesday at my noon and probably your 6 p.m. or later. And thank you for coming if this was your first time joining me for um, the pronunciation meetup. And uh, for those of you that it wasn't, it was good to see you and hear you again. I'm going to read all the words we practiced today and starting with the whole group and then each word in 929 Main Street. So when you read an address, start with the numbers high and step down and then go back up for the name of the street. 929 Main Street, 929 Main Street. And so for each of those, main, remember A, your tongue has to rise, A, main. Nine, your tongue also has to rise. I, so you start with, well, you're starting with the N. Nine, nine. And 20 is perfect. 20, and you can say that, no problem. Most American English speakers will not say the second T, and it will sound like 20. 20. And street is more tricky than it looks. It looks very simple, but the S-T-R combination is, um, it takes a lot of pressure and you might need to take a deeper breath than you're used to because you're going to have to push a lot of air and resist with a lot of pressure. So in the, this is my teeth and I'm, my mouth and I'm putting my tongue behind my front teeth and air is going over it. So I'm pushing against the top of my mouth with a lot of pressure and dragging it back. That's what creates the ch noise. It's air escaping over the tongue as I'm pulling it back. And then my R is pulled back. My tongue has to pull down so that the tongue can curl back without touching the top. Street. My tongue goes back here for the T, but I'm not going to release the final T. It's like street. I'm just going to hold it in that position. Street, street. So str, that noise is what you should hear. If you don't hear str, it's possible you're not using enough pressure to hold it back while you're dragging your tongue back. And if you bounce a couple of times, it will sound like str, 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 str. It, the tongue is touching more than once and um, air is going over it. Street. So Listen for the ch noise, street. And all together, 929 Main Street. And eight, irritable, irritable, irritable. And uh, bucks, I had that there because I said 20 bucks and the vowel is uh. And this is the same as the schwa, uh sound, which is the most common sound in American English, so you'll have to get good at it. Uh, the tongue is pulled back in the mouth and low in the middle. Uh, this is like up, and <laughs> think of getting punched in the gut. Uh, that's the sound. Uh, bucks. Ten bun. Uh, bun. And bunny. And 12, perfectly, it would sound like Charles Town with a good town, but a lot of city names that end with town get shortened to just ton. So it could sound like Charles Ton. Um, this is different in just different states, different regions, wherever you are. So you'll have to listen carefully. Um, I listen to the news, especially the weather, to hear how people um, in Boston pronounce the names on the map because they can look very different than they sound. So Charles, this one is difficult, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the RL movement. So if you don't have enough time, Charles, between your R and your L, people might not hear the L and it will sound like Chars. And Chars, Charston, Charstown sounds different than Charles Town. Make it three syllables. Charles Town. And or or Charleston. 
um, I know the name of the town, Watertown. We say the town, we don't change it to Waterton. Um, but Americans will change that T in water to water. So make your wa, water town. 14, prosthesis. This has a lot of movement from behind the teeth for the S and between the teeth for the TH and back behind the teeth for the S. Pra, open a lot. Pra, oh, I made an S. Prosthesis. 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 One, two, three. And another location. I'm, I'm guessing that it might not sound like woodland because usually we change that to woodland. Wood is the uh sound, not oo. So don't round your lips. Well, you have to round them for the W and then come back. W, w. Woodland. Lego. This is the A sound. So your tongue has to rise. Lego. And land. Ah. Open and keep your lips back. Lego land. Woodland. Lego land. Woodland. Lego land. 16. Skewed. So think of saying you with an SK, <laughs> skew, and you have to round your lips. As you make your K, sk, sk, I can make my S, sk, at the same time I'm making my K, sk, 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 so there's no delay, like skewed, skew, skewed, skewed. And 17, skewer, skewer. And 18, LinkedIn. It, perfectly, it might be linked in. That's perfect, it's fine, you can say that. But m most American English speakers are going to be a little more um, faster, take a little shortcut and say LinkedIn. Link, the ink, your tongue is very high in the back, ink, but I don't have to release the K perfectly. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. In. Exotic, exotic, exotic. One, two, three, one, two, three. And 20, bill. The important part of this one is keeping your tongue lower, not too high. E, B, 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 B. So bill. And as your tongue comes up for the L, don't round your lips or it'll sound like beal. Bill, keep your lips back. And if you have trouble keeping your lips back, smile, Bill, Bill, <laughs> it'll keep them back. 21, weird. So your tongue has to go very high, we, and then come down like a Y, weird. And then <laughs> it's a lot of movement, eared, weird. 22, derogatory derogatory. Ra is the stress syllable, so open a lot, ra, and make it longer duration. Derogatory. 23, screw. This is a SKR combination. Skr, skr. I'm pulling my tongue back for the R uh, after I make my K. Sk. I can make my S and my K at the same time. Sk, screw. Screw and pull your tongue down so your tongue has room to curl back without touching. Screw. If it touches, screw. But it'll make a little uh, extra noise. Screw. And 27, I skipped down so we could have a separate line for screwdriver. And it's one, two, three, screwdriver. 24, wood field. Wood is the uh which is not ooh, but ooh, uh, ooh, uh. The tongue's a little lower in the back. This is the uh, as in took, and good, book, and would, could, should. Would, field, field. Your tongue is going very high for fee, and then it slides down like a Y, yield, field. 25, aesthetic, aesthetic or with a T, aesthetic. 26, I don't know why we have the extra letters. We don't say yacht, we say yacht, just ah, yacht. 
and I, I won't release the T if it's at the end of the sentence or the phrase, like, you should see my yacht. <laughs> I'm going to the yacht club. I don't release the T yacht club. I hold it yacht club. Um, 28, cult. I can make my K at the same time I'm making my L. K, K. So the back is doing this. K, cult. And I don't have to think of any vowel. It's not cult. Just hold it in the L position and make noise. Oh, that's it. Cult. 29, success. Put the stress on the second syllable. Dun, dun, success. And I added 33 because it's the same pattern, but with an extra ending, successful, successful. And 30, 31, and 32. 30 is code. So the American O is not just code, but code, O, code. 31, cold. You have to round your lips for the co and then come back for the L, which is not rounded. So it'll make a wool, cold, cold, and then make it not so two syllables, cold, but make it combine a little, get a little lazier, cold, cold. And 32, you don't have to make it as clear as cold, number 31, coal. I can just make an O, coal. Successful. I hope you all feel successful after today's practice. And thank you for coming. And I hope to see you again next Tuesday or next Monday or next Wednesday. <laughs> Any day. Have a good day.